What's up golfers? Welcome back to New Nine Golf for another unboxing for you. New friends of ours over at G Tech sent us their heated pouch sport 2.0. It's a hand warmer. I've played in a million golf tournaments where I've been freezing my butt off that it's late September, early October, that I'll do anything to keep my hands warm. And finally, G Tech has hooked us up with a heated pouch. So I'm gonna take this out of the box, show you how it works, and tell you if it's worth picking up. Let's get into this unboxing. Okay, let's get this out of the box and see what the G-Tech is all about. Yo, I was not expecting this. They hooked us up big time, G-Tech. Threw our logo on it. Big ups to G-Tech for doing that. That was a surprise I was not expecting. All right, this says $1 for every G-Tech heated product sold is donated to charities we are passionate about within our communities. That's awesome that G-Tech gives back, so good on them for supporting charities that they're passionate about. Underneath this is all of our accessories. So it looks like it comes with a battery pack, a wall mount charger, and our adapter to charge, as well as a user manual. So we'll take all this stuff out, Set it aside, and that is the box. Okay, first things first, I've been dying to put my hands inside the hand warmer. Okay, I wasn't quite expecting that. So on the inside, as I put both my hands inside, I can feel that bar that is gonna heat up. So I think it showed on this, on the back of the box, this orange bar here is what my hands are holding when I put my hands inside. The material is like a very nice fleece material. I wonder if I can turn this inside out to show you guys, there we go. Okay, as you guys can see here, this is a really nice fleece material and this bar, the heat bar, is connected to the hand warmer. Even though it's summertime right now as I'm recording, I know I'm gonna be using this into the winter months. And this isn't golf specific, it's just outdoor, it's an outdoor accessory. That if you're a hunter, a skier, anything that you do outdoors, this will definitely just warm your hands. We got the accessories, so this is the battery with the charger and the adapter that, uh, let's give this a charge and see how it warms up. All right guys, we charged up the battery. So this pouch has a zipper on top. When you unzip the zipper, it looks like you could hold personal items in here if you wanted, like a wallet or a cell phone or car keys. There's another zipper inside and that's gonna hold your battery pack. So we charged up the G-Tech battery pack and we'll plug it in here, put this back in its own little compartment. All right, the battery pack has its own little rubber casing on it. So it's a little tricky to get inside that pouch, but once you do, no problem. We'll zip it back up and we'll close this guy. So to turn it on, it says right on top, there is this, it's like a rubber label. So if you hold it, it should turn on. So when you go from red, you click it once, it goes orange. One more time, it goes green. Green is the lowest heat setting, red is the highest. So it said to leave it on red for a couple minutes just to get it warmed up. So as soon as I turn it on, it's been about 10, 15 seconds. Now I can feel it starting to heat up. So I'm holding onto the bar and it says to let it sit for maybe five to 10 minutes and then you can adjust the settings and feel a difference. So we're probably 30 seconds in now and I can feel it getting much hotter. That's pretty cool. We're, we're filling in the summer months so already I'm kind of sweating just with my hands inside the fleece but I can see this being on a nice cold day that this is gonna be so nice just to keep your entire body warm because you know if you got warm hands, chances are the rest of your body will act accordingly. So overall, the G-Tech Heated Pouch Sport 2.0 is a very high quality, all the way from the exterior material to the fleece inside, and that bar is so unique where it actually heats up. The battery pack was super easy to use, very easy to plug in, all the way down to the on-off button. Now, this is quality bar none. There's the little belt on the back to tighten or loosen, depending if you're still holding onto some of that COVID weight. I know I am, so I'll have to adjust it when I put it onto the course. Let's take it to the course and see what it looks like on outside. All right, golfers, we got the G-Tech hand warmer out to the golf course. I picked a nice cold, brisk morning for us to try it out. It's currently four degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's chilly. I could probably use another layer, maybe put a hat or a toque on, but I have not taken my hands out of the G-Tech hand warmer since I got here getting ready to shoot this video. It's already so warm and it's amazing how much heat you keep in your hands. As soon as I take my hands out, my body temperature drops big time. 
inside there's that little bar and I haven't let go of it for the last 10 minutes just even just setting up this video. I have it on the high setting, definitely warms your body a lot more than even having another jacket or having a toque on that so far it feels awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it around, hit some balls with it and just give you an idea of how it feels while I wear it on the golf course. Let's go hit some balls. You know what, in already starting to practice, this is a little restrictive to keep on the front of my body. I'm gonna flip it around and I've seen pictures of guys that use it off their back. This is not annoying at all. The belt is nice and tight and you can change it if you want it to be a little looser or tighter and it feels a lot better already that again, it doesn't feel like I'm really wearing anything. Okay, initially I threw a whole bunch of stuff into this pouch. So I threw my cell phone, I threw my car keys and my chapstick. Because there's a battery pack in here, it's already a little heavy. Like with the battery pack, it's not bad at all. But as soon as I threw my phone and some other stuff in, it got a little heavy, especially my golf swing. I didn't love having all that stuff in there. So I'm gonna take out my phone. My keys could stay in here. My chapstick could stay in here. If I was golfing, I could have like my tee, a ball, and maybe a divot tool. But I'm definitely gonna leave my phone out just because it's a little too heavy. Okay, and wrapping up, the problem that G-Tech is solving is keeping your hands warm, and this pouch does exactly that. It's kept its heat the entire time that I've been out here, and my hands are nice and warm. It's really something that you would use in between shots. You know, if you're riding in the cart, or you're walking to your ball, or you're waiting to hit the ball, your hands will stay nice and warm until you're ready to hit. There's nothing worse in golf where you go to grab your clubs and they feel like, you know, two ice cubes that if you just miss hit it, your hands are gonna crack. A cool thing about G-Tech is that their founder, Jesse Galvin's from Calgary, Alberta, which is exactly where we're from. He's worked out partnership deals with the PGA Tour, the NFL, Major League Baseball, the Canadian Football League. So now professional athletes and you at home can keep your hands warm on and off the golf course. Thanks again for watching this review and we'll check in with you next time.